guys, it's your girl Shaw Cole here. Did you get it? Because I'm Shaw uh, and I'm standing on Cole. No? Okay. Please don't leave the video. I really do promise it'll be alright. Okay, please. Please stay. I'm sorry. I know the joke was bad. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Shaw. Welcome back to another episode of the wonderful Cosmic Sky server today. I hope you're all having a freaking fantastic day. I know that I am. It's been a busy one, you know, full of uh, full of dogs. You know, because I have two dogs, if you don't know, and it's uh, it's hard work, okay? They're, they're ever so hyperactive. There's just so much work, okay? But for real, like I said, welcome back to another episode today on Cosmic Sky. I hope you're all having a great day as well. Um, and today we have some work to do. Now, I noticed you guys kind of like the PvP, the adventure content. So, I think we should, uh, we should do some kind of mid- Midline content between being on the island and also preparing ourselves for the PvPing and kind of adventuring stuff that some of you like and some of you like the other side of it. So we're doing a little bit of an in-between. Today we're actually going to be making a pretty spicy set of chain armor. So for those of you who don't really know what you should be going out in in terms of enchantments and what chain gear you should be wearing, then hopefully today's video will help you out. On top of that, guys, I really do appreciate all the likes on the recent video. So, of course, if you do enjoy it, please smash the like on it. It would be much appreciated. I'm going to go for, like, an actual, like, kind of mental like goal. If we can hit 200 likes on this video in 24 hours, I will give something away in the next episode. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'll give something pretty half decent away, I'm hoping. You know, I don't want to give away something really small. But speaking of giveaways, anyway, guys, if you didn't see last episode, me and Jen actually teamed up to give you guys a double carrot recipe and double sugarcane recipe giveaway. So, there will be a link down below that you can click. The link actually goes to a tweet that then has the giveaway link on it You don't need Twitter to enter all you need to do is just click on that link and then you can enter through the website That it will take you to but that is going on for the next few days probably six days or so And yeah, you can enter that and potentially win yourself some pretty spicy recipes right there So like I said, let's hop into today's episode We have some stuff to do and I have some stuff to show you of course before we go any further though I just want to say really quick Thank you to all the people who have joined my public discord. I think we're really not that far off like I don't even know that I want to see how many members we have in there now We now have 166 people in the public discord, which is amazing So I'm hoping once we hit the next milestone of like maybe 250 people in there Then I'm hoping to do some discord only giveaways to some sky store stuff or something like that So we'll see so obviously if you don't want to miss out Make sure you click the link down below and check out my discord and on top of that I do have a twitch all that good stuff I don't want to plug any more guys But all the things that you would want to know or join or see are all linked down down below all my social links and all that good stuff so like i'm saying let's get into some stuff today because i actually think i have both my s kits and my rank kit and i don't think i've opened them up for quite a few episodes so let's uh, let's share that with you guys so obviously the island is uh wait i don't actually know if i've showed you guys the fact the island's level 12 i think i have a lot of clips to show you guys and i don't know if they're all gonna be in this video so i might play them now and then we may get on to the rest of today's episode so we'll see but if not i'm just gonna keep going guys this is it this is what we have been working towards something big is on the horizon i'm actually gonna trade with somebody in a minute because this is about to be big pog uh on our behalf i'm so excited for this guy so i actually need to find peanut really quick bruh 100 million from bob swallymon and peanut boy 1995 this is big star these guys have been working their butts off everybody on the island everybody in snack has been working their butt off which is just amazing to see it's what this means guys is that we can get IS level 12. We are about to be able to get pig zombie spawners, seven more auto crafting bots, more teleport pads, puffer fish in the fishing warp, a bigger island, more spawners, 250 more spawners to be exact, and pig zombies, like I said, is a huge deal. A massive money maker right there. We're gonna buy this. Boom! Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. That's actually so pog, dude. So anyway, the island did, of course, hit IS level 12. And I did briefly talk about the fact that we had pig zombies in the last episode. So I'm pretty sure you guys probably clued on to that. I don't know if I'm going to play the clip or not, but I'm sure you'll find out. I don't. I just, see, I never know these things until I do them, until I'm editing. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? We'll put that in. So we do actually have my rank kit, like I was saying. And with that being level 12, we actually get a spicy extra amount of money. And in the last two rank kits I've done of these, I've had over 9 million in each one. So I've had almost max money like t twice in a row which is kind of crazy so let's pick that up oh wait, we need to go on the screen let's pick that up and i think i have both my s kits explorer and warrior and i'm actually kind of hoping that we get a certain piece in this kit today because the piece of gear I'm, or the set of gear i'm gonna make is good but it needs like one or two more things to be like reasonably good like perfect to what i would want that set to be so if i can get it in this then we'll see so let's actually claim my warrior set and see if we can get off this one not bad I mean, we'll take it. Implants 2 is not bad. Death Ringer 1 is a bit meh. Overload 2 is alright, but 
See, you're gonna want double sockets with these. That's actually a pretty good piece. As a pre-made piece, a prot three, five volume two, depth shot and decent sockets. That's actually a really good pre-made. And this one's not bad, but I mean, hey, all the sockets are number one. So I mean, it's all right, it's all right. Oh, while I'm here, I just need to claim this recipe really quick. My island members, since we have got melons, have been uh, have been growing those up. So we actually need to claim glistering melons really quick, which if you don't know, we have pretty much all the custom recipes apart from the top two, which is obviously corrupt chorus fruit and uh, the poisonous potatoes. But yeah, we needed to grow some melons to uh to be able to do this because you have to kill pig zombies and grow 300 melons or something to get the perms to actually use this so boom let's actually claim that right there and now we have all of these spicy custom recipes and we just are missing the top two so easy easy bank off these speaking of easy bank as well i think i have a clip of me selling the undead mushrooms which i'm hoping i may insert in today's episode as well because these actually make crazy money the only thing about it is my mining the nether wall or farming the nether wall is really annoying but i mean hopefully i can show you guys just how much undead mushrooms make because that that was that was pretty poggers i'm not gonna lie i got a good amount of like full double that all right so peanut and bob have put together a full dub chest of the brand new undead mushrooms which again if you don't know literally says on the gui i'm hovering over one rotten flesh three nether wars and that's how you make these so this is a whole chest of dubs or like stacks sorry a whole dub chest of stacks of uh of this so i'm gonna clear my inventory boom obviously i can't hold all of this i might have two rows spare that i'll have to leave and sell after so if i sell hand an entire inventory of undead mushrooms i'm gonna get boom 7.4 mil i'm gonna get 7 million four hundred eighteen thousand eight hundred and eighty so if i then take the last two rows and sell these boom another three million seven hundred nine thousand forty four hold on we need oh, we, we need it we need a calculator here so let me let me work this one out so that just sold a whole dub chest of the brand new undead mushroom sells for 11 million one hundred twenty eight thousand three hundred and twenty so let me put this in the chat because i've disconnected from uh from what you call it discord for some reason i don't know why but that's the one 11 million 128 thousand three hundred twenty for a full dub of the brand new undead mushrooms and that's not even bad honestly that's not bad at all with the amount of rotten f you only have to put one rotten flesh in which we get a lot anyway sure the never wars are annoying but you get multiple per click on a, on a never war and we have a whole farm down below. All right, let's check the second S here, which is the Explorer. And I really do hope I get the piece I want today because it literally never goes on the AH. It's kind of annoying to get. So if I don't get it, I'm not too bummed out, but obviously it would be nice. So boom. Okay, I didn't get it. I needed one more socket on this. And the reason I needed it is, okay, Overload 2 is good, but most people get Overload 2 and Icy Veins 1 or Overload 1 and Icy Veins 2. What I want is Overload 2 and Icy Veins 2, which I'll show you why in a minute. That's actually not bad in Plants 2 and Spiked is pretty good. Yo, wait, that actually might be the leggings that I need. I don't remember. I'm gonna talk to Sway, wait, no, Anti-Axe. I wanted Anti-Sword, Never mind. Deathbringer 2 and Dodge, not bad. And that's a pretty good sword, actually. That that's pretty good. Lifesteal 3 sword and execute. That's actually a pretty, that's, that's one of the swords I'm going to be using in today's episode to talk to you about my set. So to get another one of those is pretty good. So we may be able to give that one away in today's episode, but we shall see. So like I said, we claimed our eskits. Let's actually put some of these pieces away because I don't need to hold on to them at the moment. They're kind of just filling up a lot of space and so am I in my chests apparently. So let's just place two more chests down and put this stuff away. Let's just get it out of the way real fast. All right, let's claim our rank of five. Finally, dude, in three, two, one, boom. Is it good? What? Okay. What? Did I chuck that? Oh, jeez, I thought I chucked about. Okay, five more pig zombie spawners. That is really good. The guys are going to be happy that I have these. Put five more pig zombie spawners in there. 132k XP. I was just thinking to myself, I'm going to need some more XP for today's episode. I didn't think about that, so I'm going to claim that. A diamond shield, boss layer 154, spiked 150, Okay, and kind of near the minimum amount of money, but you know what? With those spawners, we we really do need extra pigment spawners right now, as you can see. So uh, that's that's pretty that's pretty poggers right there. I'm pretty happy about that. So boom, claim my money, easy freaking peasy right there. Let's actually chuck the rest of this stuff away and get into what obviously I had planned for today's episode. So some of you may have seen I've been out in a variety of different sets of random piece of gear, um, and a lot of it's just kind of thrown in my PV right now, and it's a bit of a mess because I have some. Nice 
nice pieces like these ones are decent to go out in and these pieces are good to go out in Jeez, like, why did I when I put them in a set? I mean that was what I was going out in originally So that's a good set of gear That's kind of what you should be aiming towards really to get for a set of gear Maybe depths three would be better on that depths three is really hard to get that guys Which is what I'm gonna talk about. I probably won't have depths three in today's episode either So this is not a perfect set of gear because a perfect set of gear is annoying to get might I add so we will probably add on to this set of gear as time goes on But that is a pretty much like kind of perfect set to go out in if you are Potentially gonna die honestly There's no point putting prop 4 on a piece of gear like this because it's not s kit so it doesn't have sockets And honestly, I feel like saving prop 4 for the boss pieces when you kill the boss you get uh Like the bandit king pieces. Hello Dexter. How are you doing today, dude? So when you kill the boss you actually get these bandit uh bandit king pieces or something like that And they actually have an extra socket on them. So to be quite honest, I'm probably gonna wait to kill a boss hopefully get a set of that gear and then fill up on prop fours to that because prop four sells for a couple mil so realistically i don't just want to keep buying prop four over and over again on set so this is a good set but obviously it's missing out on sockets and the extra bit of protection but realistically this is a perfectly reasonable set to go out in it will keep you alive as long as you have pots and uh you know you could probably get away in it pretty good with the depth so that is the plan so this is the set i am going to be building today as you can see this is a s kit set right here this is my set and this is the s kit as i got it and i'm going to explain to you what pretty much all of these sockets do and why i've chosen to have these sockets now i'll explain to you one thing this anti-sword right now could have an extra socket. That is not a perfect thing. It's really annoying to get anti-sword with a decent socket on it with like with like anti-sword 3 with another decent socket on it because anti-sword 3 is a lot rarer to get than anti-axe. But honestly, I don't recommend going out in anti-axe because realistically everyone in the first adventure is probably using s kit swords so to Dex, are you good fan? So quite honestly, what is the point of negating damage against the weapon that the majority of people are not going to be using? So I would rather take anti-sword 3 on a socket on its own than take an anti-axe 3 with something else because realistically, I'm going to get more protected from the swords. You know, I'm going to get more protection by being protected from swords than I am from being protected by axes, if that makes sense. Overload 2 obviously gives me those spicy extra hearts. So you can see I've just gone up four hearts, which is fantastic. Now, what to bear in mind is some of you guys will go, oh, what about Overload 3? I'm pretty sure from the experience me and a lot of other people have had with s kit gear is s kit gear never gives max level sockets like anti accent stuff can go up to five overload can obviously go up to three but from my experience to make this not so overpowered it will never max itself out so these are good as is for an s kit piece all right so this is why all of these particular pieces are good for me so what implants does is it basically passive passively regenerates some of your health and your hunger as you go and obviously the higher level the implants is then realistically the more beneficial these things are going to be and the more often they will proc is essentially the point of them deathbringer gives you additional damage as well Overload 2 is obviously what increases my hearts and my health and stuff like that. Icy veins is what is going to slow them down. So this basically just gives like a slowness effect to them. And obviously, you know, uh, realistically, I want Overload 2 Icy veins too. But I think it's going to be such a pain in the butt to get. I'm going to check the AH one more uh, one more time in just a second before I make this gear. Just to make sure that I have the pieces that I want. Anti-sword, like I said, it gives extra uh, like damage reduction from uh, swords in particular. Dodge 2, I believe, is what has a chance to make you dodge uh, certain attacks so you can obviously negate a little bit of extra damage there as well and lastly well fed which i've actually chosen over spiked now spiked most people put on gear but what spiked basically does is gives you a chance to knock the enemy back it works similar to thorns but rather than taking durability off your armor it just hits them and keeps your armor in the same condition that it originally was well fed essentially is gonna keep me and my saturation up constantly and it's gonna keep make sure that literally i'm when i'm running away it's feeding me so I don't have to stop to eat. It's gonna keep feeding me. So I figured spiked realistically doesn't really damage the other person It just kind of knocks them back which could be useful if like you're comboing them It could hit them back and make sure you maintain a combo on them Which yes, it could be quite useful But realistically, I think having my saturation up or having I don't know if saturation is better up or down Either way having my hunger being replenished constantly is gonna obviously keep me regenerating my health It's gonna help me get away stuff like that 
Dexter really is loving a bark today. I don't know what's up with him, but guys, that's basically what is uh what, what the deal is with my gear. So this is why I've chosen these pieces. Yes, I know I could get a socket on this, which would be better. And yes, I know icy veins too would be better, but they're really annoying to get and I'm not gonna worry about it because like I said, I could pretty much get some decent pieces. Again, this would be a really easy piece to get for sure. This, not so much, but I have actually had another one of these, so I think I should be good. And, uh, and now we'll explain why I picked these swords as well. So, lifesteal, like it says kind of on the tin right there, is you're gonna steal HP from the other player as you hit them. So, as you're attacking another person, you're taking their hearts and healing yourself back in the fight. Which is obviously fantastic. That is uh, that is going to keep you alive, and I have that on both swords, so there is the double chance for that to proc, which is great. And obviously, it is also life steal three. So I don't know if that increases like the amount I take from them or how often it will proc, but either way, it's going to probably keep me alive. So that I'm happy about. Execute as well is basically meaning that when they're at low health, I have a chance to basically finish them off and do additional damage. So if they're running away on low HP, if I get a certain hit, this could probably proc and finish them off. So perfect right there. Obviously, these pieces as is, like I've said, the gems are really good, but you're probably thinking, I'm breaking one shot that's not going to keep you alive. That is what all the books for, for, are for below. Jeez, I can't even talk today. Dude, this is what all the books are for. I brought three. I'm breaking two, which yes, again, I'm breaking three would be better, but I'm breaking three is expensive and it's chain gear, guys. Like, I have Fix, I have Blacksmith Brandon, and at the end of the day, Chain gear fights are so fast, there is literally no point putting on breaking three and wasting the money on it. Then we have projectile protection, obviously, from those pesky mobs in the freaking adventure that shoot you all the time. And then we have fire pro as well, because those mobs in the mid will also fire tick you, so they're super annoying too. And basically, I have all of these on the same pieces, all fire proc, all protection, all on breaking two. Other than, obviously, the boots, I do have depth strider two for them, um, and they already have feather falling on them, wait. Hold on a minute. I need Feather Falling 3. That's only Feather Falling 2. All right. I must have accidentally tinkered my other one, but Feather Falling 3 is literally so freaking easy to get. So I just basically got it back. So yeah, other than the boots, which I obviously have Depth Strider 2 for, and Feather Falling 3 to go on those as well. In terms of the swords, I ha obviously have Sharp 4 on both of these, because why not? I also have Unbreaking 2 for both of them, and I also have Smite 4. There's no point in me putting Bane on these swords. They already have Fire Aspect them uh, on them as well, which is great to get the Fire Tick in. And I think that would be fine. I mean, you're not going to fight spiders in in the freaking adventure. So what's the point of taking them? Just take smite and sharp and stuff like that and fire aspect to just get a little fire tick on them every now and again. And you're good to go. So we're going to apply all of this to my gear and uh, try not to make an absolute mess of it, dude. So let's actually just get all the books that I need for this. And uh, I'm actually going to get an anvil next to me rather than having to do slash anvil over and over again because it's going to annoy me. So I'm going to yoink that one. Thank you very much. And we're actually just going to start playing these. So boom. Uh, wait wrong button fire <laughs> dude i'm an idiot all right let's just put these on all right helmet is done implants two death bringer two brought three fire brought three projectile brought three i'm breaking two if there's anything else that i could add to this i could maybe add respiration which i guess could be useful but i don't really plan to stay underwater for that long so maybe it'll be worth it maybe did i get a rest book before oh i did i got a rest oh i bet i uh, i bet i tinkered it didn't i <laughs> No, Depth Strider, no, I did. I definitely tinkered the Resp 2, dude. Oh my goodness. There we go. I just got Resp 2 twice. So I knew I wanted it, dude. I knew I freaking wanted it. All right, let's put Resp 2 on it, because why not? You guys are going to be like, but Shaw, what's the point of having Depth Strider if you can't just go underwater for it? Okay, I can, don't know why I keep doing that voice for you guys, but I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. Now it's got Resp 2, so I can depths under the... Wait, yeah, yeah, depths are on my boots, obviously, so I can depths under the water and, uh, and, and keep keep breathing while I'm doing it. So that's fine. Uh, let's actually just move that sword out of the way since we don't need it anymore. And let's take my chest plate arena right here, which actually may uh, may break the anvil by the end of this, but we'll see. All right, chest plate's done. Prop three, fire prop three, projectile prop three, I'm breaking on uh, uh, underload, overload two, and icy veins one. Oh, I said I was going to check if there was an icy veins two, but I highly doubt it. Let's see. Explorer, icy veins one. See, look, all of these are usually overload. Look, either, it's either Overload 1. That's actually pretty good, though. They're all number fours. It's only Overload 1, though. They're either Overload 1 and Icy Veins 2 or Overload 2 and Icy Veins 1. Overload Spiked, Overload Spiked, Overload 2, Overload Spiked, Overload Death Ringer, Overload, Overload 2 Spiked. Literally horrible to get. So I'm not even going to stress about it, dude. I'm, like, kind of over it. All the hardcore players are going to be like, 
this is the worst piece of gear I've ever seen. Yeah, I don't care. This is a good piece of gear. This is a piece of gear that if someone needed a recommendation on what pieces of gear they should make, I would recommend them these pieces of gear if they could get it. Nothing to combine. Wait, I've turned the wrong way. I'm combining it. Wait. Oh, is it already gone breaking on it? That's absolutely fine then. Perfect. 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 Oops. Hello? Okay, so that's all my gear done. Now we just need to do my weapons. Uh, oh, we need the feather falling, don't we? Let's, uh, let's just buff that feather falling. Oh, where did the feather falling go? Did I not grab it? Uh, feather falling three, boom. So there we go. That's those done. So that's my gear. Now let's actually combine the rest on my sword. Smite four. Arm breaking two. Perfect. And let's get the last sword right here. And let's finish these pieces up. So boom, there we freaking go, guys. This is gonna be my uh, my little set of, of chain gear that I'm probably gonna take out with me whenever I go PvPing. But don't underestimate me, guys, because I may change some pieces off screen. So if you hardcore PvPers are thinking, ha, 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 she's not wearing prop four. You may maybe, dude. You'll never know. But here we go. We have prop three, fire prop three, projectile prop three, resp two, unbreaking two, implants two, death bringer two, prop three, fire prop three, projectile prop three, unbreaking two, overload two, icy veins one, prop three, fire prop three, projectile prop three. <gasps> I'm breaking two and I can't even breathe, dude. Then we have a breaking two, anti sword three, same again, but we have depths on this, obviously, and feather falling three, and we have dodge two, well fed two, and on my swords, we have shot four, smite four, fire aspect one, I'm breaking two, execute one, and life steal three on either of them. So that, guys, right there is my brand new set of chain armor. I actually would wear it, but I could. <laughs> They're stuck, okay? They're stuck to my feet. They're glued, dude. I can't get rid of them. I'm not even gonna lie, though, guys. I'm actually super, super happy with this piece of, uh, well, this, I say piece of gear, but this whole set of gear, it's gonna be super nice to go out in obviously i'm probably gonna add more things to it i could probably add fire aspect to it if i wanted like i said i could add some of the projectile prop fours and fire prop fours and not even the threes the threes realistically are just much easier to get and honestly like i said it's a chain set guys it's not an iron set it's not a diamond set if it was an iron or a diamond set yes i would go all out on it but for a chain set that's either gonna break quick or probably gonna get probably gonna get ganked in pretty quick anyway I mean, I say that, but it's probably going to hold out pretty well, which is great. I'm a standard. The, the point of this set is that you, you can take a beating in it and that you can actually fight back in it. So I'm probably not going to just outright die unless someone sneaks up on me with a strength pot and just gets like 10 hits on me before I even see them, which could happen, but I kind of doubt it. Then yeah, this set should keep me alive. I kind of believe, you know, I believe I should be good. But guys, I know today's episode has been a lot of mismatch clips and also me making this gear. And again, it's been a lot of talking, but I know some people don't like the talking, but at the same time, I know a lot of other people do appreciate the information who are new or just don't know how to do certain things. So I hope this has helped you out. Like the last episode helped a few of you guys out too. Some of you guys have told me it did. So I really do appreciate that. But guys, I think that's where I'm going to end it here. Like I said, if we can go for 200 likes on today's episode, then I will sort out another giveaway to do next episode for you guys. It may be that sword I was talking about. It may be something else pretty spicy. But anyway, guys, I love you all so much. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and week and all that good stuff. You're all amazing. You're all incredible. And I do appreciate every single one of you dropping some love and support on my channel, on my videos. I can't even express to you how crazy it's been to see the channel, like, boom in the last week and a half um, i mean this last month has been incredible so thank you thank you thank you so much i don't know how many times i'll say it but i'm afraid i would be grateful so you can have to listen to me say it at least 10 times a week so enjoy it guys and i will see you in the next episode of the wonderful the beautiful cosmic sky bye guys <laughs>